Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. Yeah. This brings to my next question. You, you and Shaq got a record too. Yeah, we got several records. Like, like how did, how did, how did you and Shaq, how did you, how did you guys decide we gonna do this record? We gonna do it like this? We gonna do it this way? How did y'all come up with that? Some, you know, producers are just send mad beats to the studio. Yeah. And Shaq got a good ear for beats, man. And he'll say what he hearing to it, I'll say what I'm hearing to it, and I like this one and I like that one, and we just get it going. And Shaq is, Shaq is the most respected rapper, athlete rapper uh, that ever lived. And he's better than a lot of rappers to me, if you ask me if you listen, listen to him. But you gotta remember, no matter what athletes rap, they still couldn't get collabos because they didn't get the respect from the hip-hop community like that. Mm. They get those collabos for money. But you got some rappers that ain't gonna rap for you no matter what money you got. We just, nah, it's just corny. Shaq had Rakim, Pun, Jay-Z, Nas. Uh, it, all on one album, by the way. Um, me, Lord Tariq, Mob Deep. Um, just just a, a, a slew of Biggie. Prominent rappers on his, on his album because it was a... Yeah, you're, you're, a little, you're a fan of Shaquille, but you had to like his beat selection. You had to like something about him to get on those records. Jay-Z ain't gonna just jump on the record with Shaq just because he's Shaq. Mm -hmm. Biggie wasn't doing that. Nas wasn't doing that. You know what I mean? But they did it. Mob Deep. And it wasn't about the check. It was, it's, it, you know, of course you get some bread, but they, these dudes is already getting bread. So it was more of a, a respect. Yeah, I think I should be on this record. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Well, do you do you have an artist that can be from anywhere? Um, that 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 or a person that challenges you the most when it comes to writing and producing and putting out music? I think you know my partner, Lord Tariq. I used to have to write behind him all the time, so he sharpened me up. And uh, you know, when you're dealing with a caliber, a rapper of a high caliber, it makes you better. You know what I mean? Like my son, like you know. For me to go and, and work with my son, like we, we plan on doing a project together. I know I gotta dig, dig deep down the side and, and find my, yeah. and find my, uh, and find my, you know, my my, my old skill levels yeah. and, and add some new shit to it. So yeah, yeah those two, but that's per that, those that's real personal. But yeah. outside of them, man, uh, Jada Kiss inspires me. You know, he ain't too intricate, but his words. The things he say, his voice, he got that, he got that it. Bustin' Rhymes is incredible. Yes. Of course, you know the regular is Jay Nas. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, new rap is J. Cole. I like listening to J. Cole. I like listening. I like Drake. Yeah. Most people be hating on Drake. Drake is a phenomenal. Yeah, he's phenomenal. People wanna say he don't write. He ain't they ain't writing all that shit. He writing yeah. something. Fuck out of here with I'm you. glad you brought that up. You know, I had a I had a question for Corey Guns, but I'm gonna bring it up right now. Mm -hmm. So did Corey Gunn sign the Young Money at one yeah, point? He's still signed the Young Money. Alright. So Young Money is like one of the hottest labels in the world still. Mm -hmm. So during that time, do you think it helped or hurt his career? Cause you know, Drake was on the incline. He was Tiger. You know, you got Corey Mills, you got Lil Twitch, you got Chucky, you got all these people, right? Mm -hmm. And during that time, you know, he was he was coming up. Do you think it helped or hurt him? No, I think it was all helpful. I think I think it's a combination of things, you know. I don't like to play the blame game on nobody, and, and, and not even my own son. But what the label did for Corey was roll. What Wayne did for Corey is something that can only happen once in a lifetime. Yes. And I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. You take the hottest rapper in the world at this time, mm -hmm. hottest label, these kids... Young Money was everything they was putting out at that time was ridiculous. So you take the perfect storm. Nicki and Drake is out of here. Who's up next from Young Money? Lil Wayne gets locked up. As soon as we sign to the label, he gets the gun charge. He goes to jail. We like, oh man, this is crazy. This is, oh, you know, did we make the right decision in a way? But Corey's on Young Money. They gave him a shot. He being patient. He went to see Lil Wayne and Rikers Island in jail. Wayne said, yo, just sit tight, I got you. You up next. Wayne ain't put no records out from jail. Comes out of jail, flies Corey to Miami. 
They do a song called Six Foot Seven. Nothing else been out. Wayne ain't been out in a minute. People are thirsty to see his next record. So Corey, this is your introduction to the world. Now, put Corey on the end of the record like, here he is. So now you got Nicky Drake and you already got Wayne Pop. This is the next one out. And he did, that's what he, he rolled Corey out to the world. We dropped the ball in terms of we supposed to go from there. Nobody can't do much more than with Wayne. It's not much more he could have done to, to, to uh, introduce my boy to the world and the world see how nasty he was because they did. So we kind of dropped the ball. I want to say we dropped the ball a little bit because most people will say, well, the label should have got behind him and this and that. I think Wayne and them was good for, you know, attaching yourself to, this, to, to something hot. Go, nigga. Guess you got the heat. You got it now. Hey, rocks yours. Go. I'm over here running the full court. You over in your own full court. Because that's what uh, Drake and Nicky didn't stick around Wayne and them. When they got, they got the cosign, they wasn't doing much with Wayne. You know, time to do a record, do a show, a tour or something. Yeah, but for the most part, I'm over here. I got it from here, bro. Cosign. Good looking for the cosign. Okay. So that's kind of what we should have did in a way. But Corey really likes Wayne, man. Like being around, he was on tour with him. And Corey does his own thing. He's not a kid that's gonna ever bend. So when people come to me and say, yo, Corey gotta do a joint like this. I say, he ain't doing that, my nigga. Yeah. He is who he is and, he'll, and that's how he's gonna go. That's how it's gonna go for him. And he's, he makes good records. People be like, yo, he can rap, but his records makes him real good. Corey, if Corey, Corey got so much music, man. I bet he do. Hey, Corey will be putting, I could put an album out on Corey. If Corey never rapped again, I could put an album out every year on Corey for the, probably the next 50 years. Wow. I could probably put a 15 song album out every year for about the next 50 years.